Hi friends, my name is Ankit, and I'm here to uh, to share my video on breast or mammary gland. Breast and mammary gland is one of the most important topic uh, in medical, and uh, as we as we know that it is uh, important in first year also and second year also. So here is an anatomy of breast. I hope it may be useful for you. so uh, before starting this i want you to know that uh, the most important part or most important topic for the examination of point of view uh, is the uh, lymphatic drainage of the breast so i'm making uh, the video of that later on so here is a general anatomy of a breast or also known as mammary gland so what is breast breast is a breast is basically a modified sweat gland uh, i hope you you may understand that it is the introduction shape situation i mean i am making this video for the for the examination point of view so here is the introduction breast is basically a modified sweat gland found in both sexes and rudimentary uh, both in uh, found in both sexes i mean it is found in male and female also here it is both found in both sexes uh, but it is rudimentary in males as we all know that but when it uh, i will uh, i will explain uh, some condition later it forms an important accessory organ of the female reproductive system and provide nutrition to the newborn baby as we all know that it is a very important accessory organ Uh, for the female reproductive system and it provides uh, nutrition to the newborn baby shape uh, it may be of uh, various shapes it can be of various shapes like uh, hemispherical pendulous or conical situation here is uh, some important uh, things came Uh, situation it lies in superficial fascia of the pectoral region it is pectoral it is pectoral it lies in superficial fascia of the pectoral region it is divided into four quadrants upper lateral upper medial lower lateral lower medial here you can see that it is divided into four quadrant upper lateral upper medial lower lateral lower medial okay now uh, there is a thing came uh, known as axillary tail i know it is a very bad diagram uh, actually i am not good in diagram but i am try to explain the things there are four quadrant as i as we uh, recently discussed that uh, earlier discussed that uh, there are four quadrant that are upper lateral upper medial lower lateral lower medial okay and from this uh, upper lateral quadrant there is a small extension goes through an opening or we can call it as foramen and this small extension of upper lateral quadrant is known as axillary tail it is very important some time and it is not very important but sometime it can be asked in the viper uh, okay so what is axillary tail it is a, a small extension of the upper lateral quadrant passes through an opening in the deep fascia and lies in the axilla the opening is called foramen of langer as we uh, can see that there is a upper lateral quadrant and from it there is an, a small extension of uh, upper lateral quadrant which is also known as axillary tail it is this extension goes through an opening and this opening is known as uh, foramen of langer okay now extent of base now 
extent of base i mean uh, as we all know situation we are we are st studying right now situation so here is the extent of base i mean what is the extension of uh, breast so it is uh, vertically and horizontal horizontally vertically it is from second to sixth rib it is very important to note the extension of the breast uh, in second year you may know that what is the important importance of it vertically it extends from second to sixth rib and horizontally from lateral border of the sternum to the mid axillary line so here is the extension vertically it is from second to sixth rib and horizontally from lateral border of the sternum to the mid axillary line now we came to the next part structure of the breast so the structure of the breast is divided into three parts skin parenchyma and stroma for the convenience of our study we can divide the structure of the breast into three parts skin parenchyma and stroma skin parenchyma and stroma skin parenchyma and stroma okay so what is skin skin covers the gland and it presents the following features which features it follows uh, it present it pre present nipple and areola oh, wait sorry skin covers the gland and represents the following features but are which are uh, nipple and areola a conical projection called the nipple and is present just below the center of the breast at the level of the fourth intercostal space it is very important uh, to know the level of a uh, to the know the level of uh, nipple sorry okay uh, so here we are we we were a conical projection called the nipple is present just below the center of the breast at the level of the fourth intercostal space so nipple kya nipple is a conical projection okay is present below the center of the breast matlab jo center hota hai breast ko usse below hoti hai aur it is present at the fourth inter at the level of fourth intercostal space which is 10 cm from the midline nipple is pierced by 15 to 20 lactiferous ducts uh, nipple uh, used to be get pierced by 15 to 20 lactiferous duct it has circular and longitudinal muscle fiber few modified sweat glands and sebaceous gland and rich nerve supply okay i know uh, it will be getting going but uh, the main part of uh, breast is parenchyma which uh, which is uh, coming right now but we should uh, also know some point uh, that i highlighted with the blue uh, color so what we learn we learn that uh, the, the uh, we uh, learn a structure of breast in three parts skin parenchyma stroma skin covers the gland present following features the which are nipple and areola uh, nipple are the conical projection and present below the center of the breast at the level of fourth intercostal space 10 cm from the midline nipple used to be get pierced by 15 to 20 lactiferous ducts and it has circular and longitudinal muscle fiber few sweat modified sweat glands plus sebaceous gland and rich nerve supply the skin surrounding the base of the nipple is pigmented and the end forms a circular area this is called areola matlab jo nipple hai जो उसकी स्किन सराउंड कर रही है जो बेस है निपल का जो स्किन उसको सराउंड कर रही है वो एक पिगमेंटेड है वो सर्कुलर एरिया फॉर्म करती है उस सर्कुलर एरिया को बोलते हैं एरियोला एंड दिस एरियोला इज रिच इन मॉडिफाइड 
sebaceous gland particularly in the outer margin